hey there, Chef Donna here, and welcome to Everyday Homemade. Everyday Homemade is designed to teach you the basics of cooking, all the while making something delicious and homemade for your family. Today, I'm going to be making a baked cod dish. I'm going to be topping it with cracker crumbs and Parmesan cheese, and there's a little bit of fresh herbs. I tell you, this is going to be a hit at your house, so I can't wait for you to try it. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is get my codfish thawed. I always buy codfish frozen. It is a northern fish, and I currently live in Florida. The only time I'm going to buy a fresh fish is when it's local to my region. If you live in the middle of the country, I would definitely buy frozen over fresh, because you have no idea how long ago it was swimming. So the first thing we're going to do, and I want to tell you about the proper way to thaw proteins, no matter what protein it is, there is a correct and a, you know, incorrect way of doing it. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to submerge it in water, and then we're going to let the water drain. So I have it here, and it's in like plastic containers because it was frozen. And I'm going to fill the bowl with cold water, and I'm just going to fill it. And then I'm going to allow it, when it gets all the way up the top, just to dribble over the edge. I need the water to recirculate in it, and this is especially true if it's not in a plastic container. But it, it continues the water flow, so then bacteria isn't forming inside the water, and you're getting a nice little flow. So my bowl is all the way filled up, and I'm going to just go ahead and just bring it down to the smallest amount of dribble that I can get. And I'm going to let it sit there until it's thawed. My fish is thawed and I have it sitting on my cutting board here and I have two pieces or a folded piece of paper towel underneath it. I'm going to put this other piece of paper towel on it and I'm just going to dry it out a little bit because it was frozen it tends to hold a little bit of water and I don't want that. So there, I'll just dry it off a little and then I'm going to put it into this little casserole dish I have. I've sprayed it with cooking spray and I'm going to put the fish in there and then we're going to add some toppings to it. I'm going to crush up cracker crumbs. I have these buttery crackers that I purchased and they have a nice salt content to them so they have lots of good flavor but I'm just going to crush them up. I want about a half a cup of um, cracker crumbs for my topping. And using a rolling pin really kind of works the best. It just mushes them up really well. <laughs> there, perfect. So there's my cracker crumbs. I have two tablespoons of butter that I'm going to put here in this dish, and I'm going to melt that. So get that going. The butter is melted, and it's nice and foamy. So I'm going to go ahead and add the cracker crumbs in. Add the Parmesan cheese in and then we're just going to mix it till it gets nice and coated with the butter. So now that the breadcrumbs are all incorporated into the butter, I'm going to add some fresh parsley. I'm also going to add some fresh thyme. If you don't have fresh herbs, you could always use like a little Italian seasoning and then that'll jazz it up. Or, you know, if you used a, a flavored, like a seasoned breadcrumb instead of the cracker crumbs. But I think the cracker crumbs just give it such great flavor. So here's our dish. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the cracker crumbs right on top. my crumbs here. I'm going to go ahead and just take a little dab of butter and I'm going to put it on each piece. Then I'm going to pop this into an oven 350 degrees for about 15 minutes and then we'll do a temperature check and see where we're at. So it's 
been about 15 minutes and I just took the fish out of the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick temperature check and see where we're at. The safe internal temperature for fish is 145 degrees. So that's the goal and that's where we want to be. So that's good. I'm going to check this one too, just to make sure. Now it depends upon the thickness of your fish, like how long it actually takes to bake. So if you go with like 10 to 15 minutes to start, take it out, check your temperature, see where you're at. I think we're at 145 here too. So that's perfect. I'm going to let it cool off a little bit and I'm going to have a try. I'm actually going to save this for dinner tonight, but I want to have a quick taste. So I'm just going to take off a little piece of the corner and have a taste. And then I'll save the rest for tonight. The fish is moist, it's nice and flaky, and then the crumbs just give it so much flavor. They're buttery and crunchy, and then with the soft fish, it's really a nice pairing. So today I showed you one way to properly thaw a piece of protein. Place it in a bowl of water, let the water slowly drizzle over the edge until the protein is thawed. You would then put it into the refrigerator or you would cook it up immediately. It's a great way to do it in a safe and healthy way. I also showed you how to make a really quick topping for fish with just some cracker crumbs crushed up, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and some fresh herbs. You can't get any simpler than that on a weeknight when you want to throw something on the table really quick. So if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And hit the notification bell to never miss an episode. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day and keep it homemade.